This week is National Moth Week. Moths often get a bad rap. Most people consider them pesky creatures, but there's more to them than meets the eye. Joining us now is Monica McCubrey with the Nebraska Game and Parks Commission. Nice to have you here today on this Monday. Yeah, thanks for having me. So we're talking about moths. Uh, first, let's talk about the difference between a moth and a butterfly. Yeah, so they're in the same order, Lepidoptera. Um, they look the same, same body type, um, but moths will actually lay their wings like a tent shape, um, whereas butterflies hold them vertically. And then when you look at a butterfly, they have kind of a very skinny antenna with a club on the bottom. And then moths are really feathery when you see them. And coloration is different too, usually, right? Yep, moths are usually drab, but there's actually quite a few that are beautiful. The luna moth is like a lime green. Um, butterflies are very colorful, but moths are also very pretty as well. So this time of year, we often get a moth that comes into our house. Mm -hmm. <laughs> um, they're good, good creatures, you're they saying. They are, yes. So try to get them back outside instead of killing them. Yeah, um, best thing is to maybe turn your porch lights off. Um, the importance of dark skies and the ability ha to have darkness is really important for a lot of animals, including moths. Um, so if you can turn your lights off or have a motion sensor light, which would also be very helpful. Should we be worried about a moth getting into our closet? Um, not really. They don't want to see your clothes. They, they don't want to be in there. So if you can, shoo them out. Um, if you can't, um, you'll maybe find them a few days later, maybe dead in your house. So. Okay, so don't worry about sweaters. That's a different type of moth. Yeah, not to worry about them. Um, they, they don't want to eat your clothes. So yeah. Okay, all right. Um, and so why should people care about moths? What's yeah. the big deal about a moth? <laughs> yeah, um, well, they're food for a lot of different types of animals, um, both their caterpillars and the adult moths. They feed a lot of things like bats. Um, most of their diet is uh, moths, but then also things like spiders and frogs. Um, and then also they pollinate. So if you've ever heard of the yucca plant, um, each species of yucca has a specific moth that pollinates it. So if the yucca plant goes, the moth goes. If the moth goes, the yucca plant goes. So they're very important pollinators, especially for seed dispersal. Yeah, okay. And so how can we celebrate National Moth Week? Yeah, so everyone is encouraged. Mothers is what we call them. Um, mothers? Mothers, okay. yes. <laughs> um, they're encouraged to go out and document moths. So there's a free app called iNaturalist. If you download that app, you take a picture of a moth and you can contribute all the data to scientists and they can say oh wow we have this new moth species we didn't know about or um, just documenting what we have because there's not a lot of data that we have on moths. Hmm. Do we have a lot of moths in our state? Um, in Nebraska we have quite a few. Um, in North America there's about 11,000 species and they outnumber butterflies nine to one so way more moths than butterflies. And so what can we plant to attract them? Um, yuccas are really good and then anything that grows at night so they kind of take over the night shift um, butterflies are during the daytime mostly, um, so anything like moonflowers or uh, morning glories are really good as well. Anything that blooms at night or blossoms at night. Oh, wow, I learned a lot about a moth today. <laughs> good, Thank I you. hope so. <laughs> <laughs> if we want more information, where can we go? Yeah, you can go to the UNL um, extension. The Game and Parks and UNL are partnering this week for lots of different moth activities oh. and also to help download that free iNaturalist app as All well. All right, thanks Monica. I yeah. learned a lot today. I appreciate good. it. Thank you.